Hey YouTube, it's your girl Monique Renee. And before I get out of here for the day and start running my errands, I just had to do this wig review for you. This unit that I'm wearing is called Mademoiselle by Model Model. And let me just say that I am so impressed with one, the party, two, the color. It is so pretty. This is the color OM99J. It is gorgeous. And as you can see, I have natural lighting in my room. So this is perfect um, time for me to show you exactly how the color it would look in the um, natural light. It's very subtle, but it has that mahogany um, overtone to it. And it's just gorgeous. And the way that it lays, ladies, it looks like you just went and got your hair done. It looks like you got your went and got a washing set and they just straighten your hair and you have some nice, healthy hair. Now, as you can see, the roots of the of the unit are darker, which makes it more realistic than having it all one color. And so that's the OM, the ombre of it. It's it's a 1B at the top and then it fades down into that um um 99J. And let me just show you this part. Now I have not tweezed this and I am just I'm so impressed with this wig. I have not tweezed this part yet, but look at that. It's so nice. I'm gonna go in here and tweeze some more up in here. And maybe open it up just a tad bit more. But I really don't have to do much to it. Look at this. It's so pretty. Now, this, the cut of this unit, just so you know, is cut so that the, the front falls longer than the back. So, but it is still, you don't really have to do anything to it. Now, I usually, I would prefer if it fit, if it fit my head more. But because the cut of this unit is shorter in the back, I can't cut any tracks off the back of this. Um, otherwise, I may mess it up. First of all, I still have the tag on here. Let me just swing it around so you can see it. Um, Mademoiselle. Mademoiselle. By Otre. I'm sorry, by Model Model. Oops. Um, a deep invisible part lace front. This is what I call an invisible part wig. Because usually you can't, the parts are literally invisible. But this one, this one is very nice. You can see it. Okay. But anyway, let me show you what I mean. Let me cut this up. The back is shorter than the front. That's the back. See that? But it's cute the way it's made, in my opinion. It's very cute. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take her off. I'm going to open up this part a little bit more with my tweezers and cut the lace off and then I'll come back to you and show you how it looks at that point. Maybe I'll add a little uh, concealer and some pressed powder there to match my complexion and I would be good to go with this. This hair is absolutely beautiful so I'll be right back so stay tuned. Okay YouTube I'm back. Um, this is going to be real quick. So I just wanted to show you the inside of Mademoiselle. So the inside of the cap, of course, has the, actually has, I guess this is what you would call lace. It's, I don't know what this little strip is at the bottom. I guess maybe if you wanted to wear it in a ponytail, you could. I'm not sure what that's for but uh, it does have one comb in the back and then it has the loopholes with the adjustable straps in the front there are two combs which I will cut out and then I will trim the lace as always I leave a tad bit of the lace there so that it looks natural if the wind were to blow and you wouldn't be able to see 
um, a moon shape type hairline. This hairline is is not a uh, moon shape anyway though. Um, if you can tell, it does have dips and curves in it, which is very impressive as well. And as I said before, I am going to tweeze this part just a bit. Um, it's already opened up, but I like that. But I'm going to tweeze it a little bit here in the front, where I see that the hair to me is uh, gapping together a bit. So um, let me start with cutting the lace. Okay, as you can see here, um, I have, I'm about to tweeze this part in the front, but you see it's already pretty much opened up. I don't think I want to open it more than it already is, except here in this front area where it looks like, you see that piece? It looks like there's some hair gapping together, so we're going to take that out. Just pluck it out. See that? See now it's open. You see right here? It's open now. Bam. I'm gonna put it back on. Stay tuned. This is how the parting looks now. You see how natural that's going to look on your head? Very nice. Very nice. Hey YouTube, I'm back with Mademoiselle. Lace is cut. Part is opened up with my tweezers. And it's looking flawless, actually. <laughs> I love her. I love her. I love the straight look. This look you can wear to work. You can wear out. If you're going out for the night to dinner to a club to so whatever. You know, it's very pretty. It just looks nice like you went and got your hair done. And that's what I like about her. Um, let me put a little bit of pressed powder in the part. Just a tad bit. Okay. I will say that with this particular unit, I would prefer actually to wear my part over here on my left. But with the way this is made, if you pull it over to your left, um, it's going to make the wig lopsided. So this, this part, because of the cut of the unit, is going to be super long over here and short over here. So it's kind of like you do have to wear it. Where the part is placed, that's where you have to wear it. Okay? Um... So that would be on your right. You have to wear it on your right. Not a big deal, but I would just prefer if I could wear it on my left.
Very pretty, you two. Very pretty. I have to say, hands down, I am really loving Mademoiselle by Model Model. She's not silky. She is truly a relaxed African-American texture. It looks like you just went and got your hair done. It's very pretty. So I'm going to swing around, do a 360 so you can see her in full. This is her with the part opened up with my little press brow to put in to make it look more realistic and like it's coming from my scalp and the lace cut I did not cut any tracks off of the back of this because I didn't want to mess up the cut of the unit you can let me just make sure that you can use heat on this it is curling iron safe up to 400 degrees so if you wanted to kind of straighten these uh, ends out, which I probably will so that they won't curl up, they'll curl under more, you can do that. I won't do that right now just because I'm about to get ready to leave, but you can do that and it will work. Just don't go over 400 degrees and you'll be all right. So, here's Mademoiselle. Look at that color. Color is off the chain it's popping that color is beautiful it is very pretty ladies Here's mademoiselle up close and personal you can see this color ladies it is very pretty very pretty Let me know what you think about Mademoiselle. I personally love her. Please, please leave me some feedback and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Okay, YouTube. Until next time, work that hair. Peace.